thanks for giving me an opportunity to share my views. Uh, so what you mentioned about that uh, women in finance, even today, uh, their whole transactions or behavior in, uh, reflects that it is still family oriented, which means that still there is a control of family and they have a less independence, right? Now, my actually, I would respond that you talk to any woman and you ask her, I'm talking particularly to rural women, you ask her that do you have a bank account? And she would say yes, or she would say that, yes, I have three accounts. And then she would say, one is Jandan account, one is Ujwala gas account, and then one is my account. When she's saying that, what does it mean? Jandan is a family account, partly because it is shared account with the husband, even the Ujwala gas account. Then we say, why do you have a third account? She would say, because I want to control my finance. And when you really want to address women, I think the industry or the supply side should think that are we designing the product which will give control because providing an access to finance or access to digitalization is not enough. When you work with women, you want to empower them, they are going to you ask you first that whatever product you are suggesting, will this give me control on my finance? And then she will use it. So I do think that any account or any product, if we, on the supply side, if we give a solution to women, we have to think that are we giving her a control on finance, control on her decision making as far as finance is concerned. If the product gives that, which means she has her own account, number one. Second, the size of the transaction should be small, number two. Third, the fees should not be that high that it is not affordable, third. So you have to think in those areas then you will get big number of women using and transacting the account. So first of all, you will see a lot of women have started their businesses or have become an entrepreneur. In that segment also, you will see that many women enter into entrepreneurship because they have no choice. When I say that, what I mean is that they may want to do jobs, but jobs are not available. In rural India particularly, if you really want to do, then there is no industry. So you end up doing something small business. Either it can be a vending on the street, doing street, like, you know, being a street vendor, or you want to get into textile industry or catering or something like paper cups and paper plates making those. These are small industries. Now, when you see that the huge number of women are coming in, it is very important to see how much is the dropout. I think that is very, very important because women want to do business, right? But they also drop out. And why they drop out? What are the issues and challenges around it? Number one, are they getting enough capital at the rate and the time they want? Because so many women's business are around, in particularly India, around festivals. If they don't get credit or capital in time, it is not going to help. So that is one big challenge they face. The second challenge, which is like post-COVID, which came out and women found out the solutions also, is that where will they market in the product, their products? Because villages are fragmented. And how do you aggregate the product? How do you provide the market and create those platforms? Women have been using a digital platform. If I would say you will find so many women in the villages having like business accounts of various digital media, I mean digital platform, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, including, and also Kai Zala, like Microsoft, which is, so they are trying, right, actually. I find that in country like India, women want to expand and flourish their business. But again, I would say that supply side is, do not have enough information how to cater the product to these women who are on the remote locations, and I would just like to say it is not that difficult. In country like India, we have a postal bank, right? The postal department, their infrastructure is there. If women who is producing, we have so many women who are producing masks and then they wanted to sell and buyers were also there. Lot of things were done digitally. But when you have to like send your products physically, then 
can we not use the infrastructure of the postal department it is lying there right it would make it cheaper so if you want the small scale enterprise or a micro enterprise from micro to go to the medium enterprise also a small enterprise also you have to build this whole ecosystem where particularly logistics market they will find capital banks can come forward but i would also like to say that when we talk about the women business this is the first generation of entrepreneur they do not have a track record they do not have a trajectory so banks or a financial institution should be open to give loans or a credit to first time borrower we have a very uh, we are victimized of that mindset about civil rating high mark rating these women do not have that so i think supply side will have to be very risk taking and of course people will share the pains of supply side what is the pain of the financial institution is default right but that risk sharing can be done by the institution like mandeshi or others also but very important is that there are many new women entrepreneurs are coming in this uh, sector it is important that they retain number 1 it is important that they scale and flourish number 2 if they scale and flourish they will be providing the jobs they are they i mean i'm happy that you are saying that which means we have many entrepreneurs they are not job seekers but they are job providers so first of all you must have read in newspaper i think 3 4 days back that there was a big news that women will get a loan of 500000 rupees without collateral very important right because women do not have collateral they don't own property but they want to own the business that is like the risk they are taking so if we are open for that and how do you do it so with women doing digital transaction based on their trajectory of the digital transaction you can decide how much loan she can get a working capital loan particularly because what they need is not a very huge loan it's a small amount below 500000 rupees if they get it without collateral there they will come forward now as your question about digital financial thing i would like to say that here you will see in this country in this so many household you post pandemic we saw that we our rural population is also digital savvy they don't only require digital financial literacy i find that there is a need of literacy given to supply side those who are designing the product for poor people or rural women they should understand their pain points of the client and design the product accordingly instead of designing on your own what swanari is doing or what rbi innovation hub is saying or even mr bansal spoke today read your customer listen the voices of your customer our customer are also not just salary earned people right our customers are in the village also understand them and then design the solutions based on that i would just like to give you an example in country like india where you have a majority of the population is in rural livelihood and that also in cattle such a big number you know we hardly have one or two institutions who are providing digital animal market i think only one now during the pandemic 3 years animal markets were closed in spite of all these startups you didn't find any any company coming forward who will provide a digital platform for buying and selling animals so many people in agriculture are doing it right why can't we do that do we have a digital platform for farmers who want their soil to be tested who want their water to be tested who want to understand the uncertainties of the rain everything is there on the um, on the digital platform but to get that information on the handset of the rural population for women so important and i would say you know one thing i have learned from our women is that i've always seen that you bring the um, anything like you talk about the digital uh, platform digital transaction they are ready to do it they will never say we don't know how would we do it they will say give us an opportunity we will do it and they do it when they are ready 
why are we not ready number 1 and i would also like to say that when we talk about poor people or a rural people or we talk about micro entrepreneurs we talk about excess but women always think of wealth creation any action of them they want to create wealth not only for themselves but for their family and their community so i do think that when we design the digital solution one thing i would like to tell all the innovators all these uh, fintech companies all those startups that when you work with women particularly think of wealth just don't think of excess number one and second never give poor solutions to poor people they are smart